such a dominant win by Rajasthan. They won by six wickets. They were brilliant with the ball. 125 is well you know, doesn't give the Mumbai bowlers anything to play with. And then Riyan Parag came and played a very mature knock, getting 54. Uh, Lisa Harsha, just very clinical from Rajasthan. Like you were saying, there was so much hype around Mumbai that Rajasthan just come quietly, bowled well, batted well, fielded well. Sometimes it's good not to be too feisty and, you know, just slip <laughs> under a little bit. Is that, is that what he's I'll trying to be? He's trying to be the one that's slipping under. under. <laughs> well, I was very impressed with Riyan Parag today. I mean, we saw one facet of him the other night. But when you, when you want to see for young players maturing, then you want to see innings like these. Because wickets lost early, he's uh, sort of calmed things. Mm. And then when it came to going big, he had the shots as well. So, I, I think he's auditioning very, very strongly for a place in the national side. It's only two innings yes. and there's a lot of contenders there. But he's doing no harm and I'm, I'm, I'm delighted because he's doing the difficult things well. Well, he's uh, already reached 181 runs this IPL. His record for the maximum runs in the IPL is 183. So, clearly shows what his brilliant domestic form was. He's carried it on for the IPL. And more importantly, Rajasthan have given him faith. Yes. And given him the position that he wants. So, all of that years in the squad and coming and going and up and down. Um, we want you to finish. It wasn't for him, whereas they've found a spot that's working well. And um, we spoke about it in the first innings that you can't just be a flat track bully. And he was in his previous <laughs> games. He played brilliantly. But He's actually one, more flat track than bully. Yeah, but he actually he actually spent some time out there because it was what was it, it was 48 for three. Mm -hmm. um, and he managed to kind of go run a ball and then he just went up the gears nicely and finished the game in style. So all of a sudden his strike rate's 138, but that doesn't quite tell you that he had to kind of fight a yes. little bit initially when he first came in and he wasn't willing to give up his, his wicket. He wasn't willing to pick up where he left off because he knew it was a different pitch, a different situation. We'll have a look, yeah. sorry. You can't, uh, you can't play an innings like that if you're batting first. Because yes. the pressure starts to yes. build on you. You're 27 or 28. What's happening to you? When you're chasing, there's a target there. You're constantly looking at runs and balls, runs and balls. You're looking at that equation. And so you can give yourself time in a small chase, which you cannot do if you're batting first. But very, very impressive. Jigsaw puzzle just now is fitting in perfectly because of what Riyan Parag is doing. Who would have thought in three games, Virat Kohli and Riyan Parag would be sharing the orange cap? And he's played the role from a different number. Yes. Virat's got those runs. Uh, from the top of the order, mm -hmm. which is something different we're saying. He's really attacking the new ball. Whereas uh, Parag is doing it from number four, mm -hmm. which is always maybe a little trickier because the situation is sometimes set. You could have a day when you can just go in and hit because the openers have done their role. So, I'm mm -hmm. uh, yeah, very impressed. I think big plus also is uh, Chahal. Yes, big, big plus. plus. So, the little things. You said Jigsaw falling in place. Chahal falling in place is also big, big, big news for uh, for Royals. Also, the positive with Riyan Parag is he's finishing games for them, yeah. Lisa. So, you yeah. know, that's also something where you always want to see a batter go past uh, the finish line. He's been unbeaten now today and uh, the last game. Yeah, that, that says something about his mentality as well. He's, he's not going to um, throw this opportunity away. I think he's been given plenty of opportunities in the past, but this time he's really making it stick. And, you know, after the second game, he was very emotional. Um, so, it, he's gone through a lot and sometimes as a player you need to go through the ebbs and flows of cricket, learn from that, learn from your mistakes, realise what you need to do, the hard work in order to get you to a position where you can start to really put the performances on the board and he's, he's unlocked a secret at the moment and he needs to hold on to it because cricket's a funny game. The next game it could bite him in the backside but he's um, he's playing extremely well at the moment. There is one truth of all performers. How much are you doing when no one's watching? Sometimes you only want the big stage. We saw that with Khalil. Twice now he's bowled three overs for nine in the power play. He said yesterday, went back, worked very hard on fitness. How much are you doing when no one's watching? Parag has done that, no one's watching. He's this big Instagram guy, right? No, yes. he's improved by doing things when nobody is watching. And then when the stage comes, you're ready. But also if you're playing at four, and Lisa might know that, you've had over four, five most of your life. Mm. When you're batting in white ball cricket, four, five, 
your job is to bat with five, six, seven if the openers are gone and take you home. That's your job when you're batting four, five. And I think that's what he's uh, that, that's what he's done well in both games.